my favorite way to show off the Renew Protect dry seal UV block. It does not wash off. Renew Protect, no silicones, no oils, no active solvents, nothing coming off as you can see, except steam from our high pressure, uh, high pressure hot water spray. So I'd recommend probably every six months on tires and trim work uh, once a year to every two years. This is a UV block dry seal. It also will prevent dry rot. It'll keep this tire much cleaner. Once you've coated the surface with Renew Protect, you will not need tire cleaner, just mild soap or spray it. So I'll give you a quick explanation of Renew Protect black, satin, and gloss. Same polymer base, very similar to the easiest way to explain it would be a liquid plastic with zinc and titanium oxide as sunblock. So this is a permanent restoration I and mean, classified as protectant but much more so than that, this is true restoration. High gloss, low gloss, and this one is infused with carbon black. And in this case, when you have this level of fading and UV damage, I would recommend the black. And that is what we have done. This is the Renew Protect Black. This was just applied five minutes ago. So as you see, that has penetrated bonded with the surface a copolymer acrylic bond into the surface and sealed down not slippery no silicone no oil and real quick a note stay away from protectants most all protectants regardless water base oil base regardless of what the label says they are silicone and oil typically some combination thereof and they all contain solvents and of course, if it's a solvent, solvents eat away the surface. Gloss, there's gloss. If you let gloss dry in a dish, that is what you get. These are the solids that are left. The reflective value would be the zinc and titanium oxides as sunscreen. There's our black product. So this is the black dried in a dish. So that is what you are doing. You're penetrating and locking this down onto the surface. So once your plastics have this level of fading and oxidation, the carbon black has been exhausted from the UV exposure, which is exactly why it's black. Carbon black and your tires, your trim work, they're black because carbon black is a competitive UV absorber. The UV rays hit it and disperse as heat. So this is exhausted. There is literally no pigment to enhance with the Renew Protect products currently as is. So in this case, we are going to use heat gun, the heat gun technique, which is a last resort and you have to be very careful with it. You want the key is to keep a, uh, a consistent distance from the surface and consistent movement. Okay, once you've re got the right distance and the right level of heat, you can see it's pulling the elements up through the plastic and restoring the surface of the plastic. Of course, you have to be very careful around your, your paint. 
you may want to use some type of a device to border and protect your paint, especially on a car and clear coat. Okay, we now we've got that restored with the heat gun and pull the elements up through the plastic. You would like to very much avoid using the heat gun again. This actually weakens the plastic. So we're going to seal it with the Renew Protect Satin, the lower gloss. Renew Protect, dry seal, every two years. Before we treat our vinyl, we're going to seal our vinyl with the low gloss satin. And by the way, that is uh, one coat of the black to restore the plastic there. But before we treat this vinyl, um, vinyl is, has a skin on it, a layer, which is quite porous, which is why it gets dirty and stays dirty. So, my favorite trick. After a general cleaning, use a general cleaner and one of these little dense foam cleaning pads which you can get quite cheap online and clean it again for a second time. I don't know if the camera is picking that up, but you see what I'm pulling out, literally pulling out of this porous surface. So, once we get it clean, we're going to seal it with satin and it won't be an issue again. Satin will lock over and uh, not allow dirt to penetrate the vinyl and of course it's going to protect the vinyl against UV 